Hello, my name is Van Ha. I am 13 years old and I am pretty much so happy to be a part of this competition. So today the topic that I want to talk about is racism. And I know that it might sound crazy. Well, a 13 year old girl sitting and talking about racism, how, how can that happen? Well, I found it crazy too. But I think that if a young person like me really has to stand up and talk about this, then I guess we all know how serious the problem is. So, well, first let's find out what is racism. Well, racism is judging someone based on their skin color, their ethnicity, or nationality. It has existed for a very long time in our world. And it's a horrible thing to exist that long. Well, it causes so many tragic deaths and prejudices against us and pushing us far away from each other. So my question is, why do racism exist? Well, I suppose racism exists because, well, back then, a group of people or an individual who belonged to a certain race, ethnicity, or nationality led bad uh, impressions to others. And these impressions, they don't fade away, but they made us think that everyone who belongs to that race will literally act the same. And racism is a very huge problem in our world. And it comes from many kinds of stereotypes, such as black people are always so suspicious. Asian people bring COVID-19 to the world, and we all look the same. And all Muslims are terrorists. Mexican people are just full of illegal immigrants and so on. That is racism, full of toxic stereotypes and assumptions about a certain group of people. Therefore, stopping racism is extremely necessary. Racism has been separating us for such a long time, and it harms so many people. But how, how can we stop racism? Well, that is a good question, because I, I think I have some ways to prevent racism, and I'm going to take you through them all. Well, the first thing to do is to accept the differences in culture, religion, way of life of each person. What well, Audre Lorde have said, it is not our differences that divide us. It is our inability to recognize, accept, and celebrate those differences. And we must eliminate all stereotypes about races and nationalities. Because we... Here we have to be united in order to save the world from the pandemic or the pollution. But if we want to be united, we have we need we must not have bad prejudices about each other. And let me tell you, those assumptions aren't always so true. For example, if we follow the assumption that everyone who's a Muslim is a terrorist. Well, there are more than 2 billion Muslims in this world, and if that's true, we wouldn't have a chance to sit here and, and survive. And another way to prevent racism is to treat people with kindness and to open our heart and our mind as fast as when we open our mouth. And last, we must examine a person carefully before we judge them. And if we do judge them, we have to do it fairly. And I guess that is the end of my speech. And thank you so, so much for taking your time listening to my speech. And I guess that is also a goodbye. So goodbye, and I hope to see you next time.